from one story to another from one story to another these people they are full of stories <laughs> these people are like strangers that you don't know you bring them to your house you don't know what they are capable of you don't know what like it's only god that helps us you know the problem we have here is that our men don't used to help they don't used to help us <laughs> they don't used to help us so hi everyone welcome back to my channel guys welcome back welcome back Mm. <laughs> I made up today. I went for a party, went for a birthday party, my sister's birthday party. So I'll be vlogging from there. <laughs> Hope I look nice. Nice. <laughs> Came very early. Nani left on Friday last week. We were cooking, you know, we are cool. I, I wasn't having any issue with her. We were very cool. And um, I was with I was with my baby that day. She was actually cooking. I told her to go and uh, make um, lunch. She went inside the kitchen and um, did everything that she was supposed to do. The next thing I started calling her, I didn't see her. Called her, shouted her name everywhere. I didn't see her. Let's say after like five. Five ten minutes I got a call from the security the estate security that they saw that they saw a girl at the estate gate that um, that she said she's coming from my plot because they, they caught her with a bag I was not like ah. <laughs> I ran to the estate gate this is the security post I saw her Chidima what is it She's, she was she wasn't looking at me she was just looking down because these people were eh? <laughs> these nigerians nanny eh? <laughs> they are not easy to handle because this girl i do virtually everything for her since she came to my house like i make her hair when my children are making their hairs i make her own hair we buy her pad i like personal belongings deodorant down to shape stick i get it for her so even if you want to go, why can't you just come to me and tell me and say I don't want to stay again, I want to go? Ah, is it by force? To leave with someone is it by force? So to cut the whole story short, I had to like call someone to take her to the park and make sure that she enters the bus, called her dad, please see 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 what happened though. I can't stay with this girl and, and all that and all that. So finally the next day I got a debit alert. I started looking for my ATM because she came, you know, we are so close. I, I see her as my younger sister. There was a day I sent her a message with my ATM card and I, get, I wrote down the pin for her. So I didn't know that she, she kept the, my pin that she took, that I, used to, I, I sent her with. So the next minute, I got a debit alert, checked. There were, I, didn't, I didn't withdraw any money. There was no withdrawal from my side or from my husband's side. I quickly went to my online and blocked my card. I started call, looking for the card everywhere in the house. I didn't see it. I started calling her, calling her people. Please, I'm looking for my ATM card and I think your daughter is with it. Please tell her to return my ATM and all that. She denied that she was not with it. I called the agent that brought her to my house because these people were this agent. They are stories another, a story for another day. <laughs> So after a lot of drama, she accepted that she took the car, that she withdrew the money, that she's sorry, and all that. So like, I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how to cope, because right now I'm very scared. I'm so scared bringing people, bringing, you know, these people are like strangers that you don't know. You bring them to your house. You don't know what they are capable of. You don't know what, like, it's only God that helps us. So I don't know how to... I don't I have not I don't have the courage or do I say I don't have the mind to bring someone else to the house. So right now I'm ruggeding it. <laughs> I'm ruggeding it. I know it won't be easy. I know it won't be like an easy one, but I believe with God I'll try. Like let me just try and do this thing on my own. Because people, girls, ladies abroad, they are doing it. They are doing it on their own with their husband. Don't just that, eh? You know the problem we have here is that our men don't used to help, they don't used to help us. <laughs> they don't used to help us so because over there men, you know, they do things, they assist their wife. Maybe wife will be cooking, get, men will be in the living room playing with kids. But here, Nigerian men, they are not like that. That's why here in Nigeria we we depend virtually on house helps, nannies and all that. So I believe I can, I will do it. 
by God's grace. Right now I'm doing it for like one week now I've been doing it without help. <laughs> Just that I'm lucky anyway. My mom is around so if I have an, an emergency or if I have work to do or I know I have I now have my calendar I schedule myself time for work time for my video time to edit and um you know i'm balancing it up right now <laughs> it's not easy but i'm trying <laughs> i'm trying and right now i left my kids with my mom and even if my mom my mom is not around maybe she she is busy i would have just discussed with my husband guys see you are staying home today i have a party i need to attend to i need to have an idea is a must go for me i need to go for this party so please baby sit today so you know we'll be doing it so here in nigeria eh? <laughs> this nanny today is not easy also. so guys <laughs> please like my video remember to leave your comments like tell me your experiences you this mother said eh? how you are doing it if you if you have been doing it without help please i need to hear your own story how are you managing how are you coping <laughs> leave your comments guys thank you bye see you in my next video bye